I think it's one of the most important concepts that you mentioned is just abundance and just that that feeling of abundance like versus scarcity mm -hmm. i think it's probably the one of the it's one of the most important things that people need to get a grasp on is this idea that there's not if, uh, one pie and that the piece that you get is now a piece that i can't get mm -mm. and that's what i think it's back to why we do this podcast I want you to have the whole pie. You yeah. want to know why? Because I'll make another damn pie. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I well, mean, because it's, it's infinite. We'll open a pie factory. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> if you're ever going to go after your dreams, you're probably going to have to take on some God-sized challenges. Mm. And, you know, when you take on challenges like that, self-sufficiency is no longer an option. And it's in those days that you better believe in a higher power to get you through those dark days because when you're going after your dreams there's a lot of resistance and there's a lot of dark day days so for me faith is the projection of the most beautiful possible thing for the future versus fear which is the projection of the worst possibility for the future yep. so i always tell people whether you like it or not you're faith-based yep. so if you want to be faith-based why not look at everything through faith gratitude love and abundance versus fear, hate, anger, and scarcity. Hmm. And I tell people, if you ever want to increase your faith, you increase it by being grateful. Hmm. You see, being grateful doesn't change your current situation, but it does change your heart. When you're grateful, you can't be worried. You can't be fearful. You only have love and abundance in your heart and when you have love and abundance in your heart you're going to want to serve people and really it goes hand in hand that gratitude and also the giving portion the giving back um it, it, to me gratitude and giving both put you in the posture to receive because everyone hears that you know it's better to give than to receive and, and that's a nice thing to hear a nice thing to say but but when you really break that down and what that means, it's the act of giving. It's the act of gratitude for being grateful for what you already have puts you in that posture to be able to, to receive more. But the act of giving, the act of giving ultimately shows gratitude for what has been given to you. But it also shows that you're in a place, that you're in a mental state of abundance because you know that exactly like Neil uh, Elliott just said, scarcity is not a good place to operate, that you know that if you are operating in a place of abundance, that by giving, you know, you know that there is more coming your way. You don't give because you think it will result in more coming your way, but you give because you are grateful for all that has been given and all the opportunities that you have around you. And, you know, I've, I've had times where I've been in a scarce mindset, even over the last couple of years, where it's like the scarcity, it's like, it, it comes in this like preservation mode. But to me, that's all based on the fact that like, I, I need to preserve because it may not be enough. And going into like, I may not be enough. So like now, like I've gotten to this level of, of, of where I'm at, like, and I need to make sure like I stay here, I keep this, like that there's, that, you know, that, that it seems like it could like somehow go away. But the opposite of that being an abundance mindset is that like I can give generously and I can give my time and money and energy and resources because there's so much more out there that's coming. The times where I have benefited the most and been in the most ab abundant, of the most abundant mindset are the times where I have been the most generous. Yep, I agree. Now, there's a there's an interesting struggle there in that in that relationship that I'm not generous because of that. Mm -hmm. So it's like it's it's kind of like a the opposite of whatever the opposite of a catch twenty two would be. <laughs> whatever that I, I whatever word for that is. Yeah. It's like, I don't give to receive, but I've always received and I've always- When I'm given. Given. Right. In the times where I've been less generous, I have, I have been blessed less. Yeah. And so it's, you don't give for the blessing, but it's an understanding 
mm -hmm. that by giving you will receive more. You, get, you give without expectation, mm -hmm. but you know somewhere in the back of your brain that the universe usually brings it full circle. You don't go into it yeah. with the intention of, yeah. I'm gonna do this nice thing. I'm gonna give $30 to this homeless guy so that hopefully I'll make some more sales tomorrow. That's not <laughs> why you do it. Yeah. But I've found similarly that every time in my life that I've said, you know what? This person needs me mm -hmm. and I give, um, within about a week's time frame, something comes back to me and like a little voice goes off and it's yeah. like, thank you. <laughs> and that's the important thing about, like we talked about mentors uh, that are willing to invest their time in others. And this podcast that we're willing to spend our time sure. um, investing in, in other people so that they can be successful. And the idea that there's no secrets, there's no, you know, this is something that I got to hold close because I figured out this sales tactic. Like there's none of that ever, yeah, yeah. like within our business, but within yeah. any business, the person that thinks that way has that scarcity mindset. Jab, 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 right hook. Number one, it's like one of the greatest books ever. Um, and it, it is the basis of which I've built my entire social media platform on, which is just giving. Giving without expectation of anything in return, so I don't monetize anything. That's why the book's free, the PDF on my website's free. Um, that's why I've never asked you for anything. That's why. There's no bait and switch. There's no like other shoe to fall down the road. It's it's providing value is is the game. It's it's everything. Live a giving lifestyle. So give the things that you want to to start growing in your own life. If if you have people that betray you all the time and it's constant betrayal, man. I gotta tell you, betrayal's in there some way. So 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 stop doing it, right? Mm -hmm. So so get away from that and start just sowing loyalty with people. Right. You may need to change the people you hang around too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, the one thing too that for me that's specifically important about giving, and, and when I say giving, I'm talking about like giving financially, whether it's like actual money or by yep. doing something for someone that costs money, is it it flips a switch in your brain and it creates a environment of abundance because if you're sure. able to give that means you are telling yourself i have enough and there is overflow of what i have mm -hmm. to be able to give to somebody else versus when you store everything and you keep everything yep. to yourself that is a lack mentality that is a there's not enough oh, for everyone oh, there's not enough for everyone so have for, for everywhere or everything or everything i want to do so i got to keep it all and i need to hoard it all because i don't know if there's going to be something else down the road right. but just the simple act of giving tells yourself subconsciously that you have plenty, that there is plenty more coming where That's that right. came from, yep. and that there is so much so that you have the ability to go and let that overflow into other people. That's right. Like, I, I did a Facebook Live um, a couple weeks ago. Uh, it, was, it was actually after I, I had written that um, large check, and um, I had talked about how I was, I was kind of feeling like I was in that mentality, and like literally that one act of like writing that one check, like, like that, it yeah. just complete like my whole mindset just completely it's like an act of worship almost mm -hmm. it's like it completely changed everything when you're able to do something that nobody expects you to do that's right um it, it just changes your mentality and changes your perspective on oh, everything yeah. community involvement is very important to me i do a lot in the community it makes me feel good you know i right. it, that was one of the things that i started doing when i started like trying to get out of that life and i started going to uh you know, places where I could volunteer and just, you know, whether it's sorting clothes at the uh, uh, Salvation Army or, ser or serving food at a church. I mean, I, I went there because, you know, Tony Robbins said that that's one of the things you have to do to experience fulfillment. You gotta give back, you gotta contribute beyond yourself. I went and did that, not because it was important to me or like, I mean, how could it be important to me if I never did it? I did it because he said to do it. And one of the other things he says is model people that are successful. And I'll tell you, I did it. The first time I did it, I realized like very quickly that I wasn't there to help them. I was actually there, like it was helping myself. It was healing me. It was showing me a different like side of the world and giving me some much needed perspective. That if you're not a generous person, then don't expect to receive much in life. Right. Like that's that's mm -hmm. like you know to whom much is given, much is required, and, and all that. Yep. You know, better to give than to receive. All that stuff, all those cliches are bottled in this idea of just like mm -hmm. generous people win at the end of the day. Yep. Like like I've never met 
a, a successful person that also had fulfillment mm -hmm. that wasn't extremely generous. Right. Like our organization, our company here, we give, if people real, if people actually knew the, the dollar amounts that we gave, um, they would be astounded. Mm -hmm. um, and, and the individuals within our organization, if they knew, but that's why we're doing well. Right. Like, like I truly believe that's why we're doing well is because we are so generous uh, with what with what we've received. Right. Um, and and I think that the that's how you change the world is through radical generosity. Mm 